Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Calculus Craze. I'm sure you guys are doing well. So far we are done with uh, in the previous videos. What do we mean by sum of two functions, difference of two functions, product of two functions and quotient. The next thing is are there any applications of these functions? So well the answer is going to be yes. Uh, for example, I can show you an example first of application of this difference. For example, uh, in a certain company, revenue at time t is given to you. For example, say it is 244 minus 9t plus 1.1t square. This is the revenue at time t for a certain company. Similarly, let's say the cost at time t is given by c of t okay so i'm i mean this is let's say this is the cost c of t and this is the revenue r of t which is equal to 341 plus 3.2 t Let's say now you are asked what is the profit at time t. So you know that profit is equal to revenue minus cost. So these are two functions and you are taking their difference. I won't simplify this. You will be able to simplify by okay. So this is the revenue. So revenue is 341 plus 3.2 t minus the cost 254 minus 9t plus 1.1t square so once you simplify you will get you know the profit and this is an application of difference of two functions similarly uh, we have got another interesting example this is an example from book pre-calculus which we are following so it says that suppose b of t be the number of births in the United States. So B of T is the number of you know births that are taking place, and D of T is the deaths at time T which are taking place. And T equal to 10 means 2010. What do we mean by T equal to 11? So it will be 2011, so on and so forth. Now it is asking us what is going to be if p of t is the population of the united States in year t so this is p of t which is the population at time t population at time t so this uh, population and c of t represents the percentage change in population of this united states so first let's say what is going to be the change at time t so change is total people which are born minus deaths so this is an application of difference of two functions and then you know percentage uh, percent change so it is c of t so this is going to be change divided by total population times 100 percent so you just need to insert these values now this is going to be an example where you have you know where you have difference of two functions as well as the quotient so these are the application what do we mean by c16 so th this means the percentage change in the population in 2016 uh, no it's uh, c means t equal to 16 so that means 2010 plus 16 that means 2026 so that is 2026 yeah so it will represent you the percentage change in the population in the year 2026 similarly we have got another example let's get started with this example it says that let's let d of t be the number of dogs in united states in the year t so this is representing this is a function which represents dog in the year t uh, and then c of t be the number of kids in the united states in the year t so c of t is representing uh, number of kids in the year t so these two are functions d of t and c of t uh, where t equal to 10 means 2010 and t equal to 11 means 2011 uh, of course t equal to 16 will be 2016 so in the previous video i made that mistake so c of uh, 16 will be 2016 so just you know 
get back and set that so that was not 20 26 but 2016 because t equal to 10 means 2010 so t equal to 16 means 2016 we are human we can make mistakes so fine it's all fine okay in a part it said find the function p of t that represents the total number of dogs and cats in the united states so total means uh, you will have to add dogs and cats d of t plus c of t so you can see that this is an application of sum of two functions similarly it says now interpret p of 16 so p of 16 means the uh, num so number of dogs and cats in the year 20 16 and the c part it says that let n of t represent the population of the united states in the year t where t is 10 corresponds find h of t equal to p of t over n of t and then interpret so this is you know quotient of two functions and its interpretation is going to be what its interpretation is going to be so n of t is the total population p of t is the uh, sum of dogs and cats so it is going to be the ratio of uh, you know dogs and cats to the total population so this is how you know the sum of two functions uh, uh, difference of two functions uh, and of course you will see product of two functions and ratio of two functions have got too many applications in our uh, daily life uh, which we can implement so far so good don't forget to like subscribe our channel